see what this water pool has for something. There's a wild area near Moda stoked with ice types. Okay. All right, that was my plan, is as soon as we hit the third gym, I was planning on uh, spending a little bit of time. Hey, a barboach. Could use some more water types. But yeah, I was planning on hitting a little bit more uh, of the open field area. Maybe get a raid or two in if it's kind of fairly low level. God, I'm loving the flinches on bite. Like, Torpedo gets flinches left and right. Look at these flinches. Uh, as long as I don't crit, it should live. Boom. It used snore. Why does it have snore? Why would you use snore when it's not asleep? Alright. Zoro's. Ooh, Sucker Punch. Um. Now let's see. Sucker Punch, if. Move enables user to attack first. It fails if they're not ready to attack. But it's a physical dark move, so it's still actually worse than our special moves. And Thief has actually some other utility, so I'm gonna pass on Sucker Punch. It's a nice move, but. I don't know. Whiskers Pokemon. Slim body is hard to grasp. In one region, it is said to have been born from hardened mud. All right, we got seaweed, sea fish. Come on, let's see what other names we got. If we catch a Wimpod, name it Cocutus. All right, remind me when we catch one. I have to find one. Wi-Fi, Wormy. Oh, you're, you're, you're helping out with the versus thing. Wi-Fi was not a name suggestion. <laughs> Bardock, lungs. All right, we'll name it lungs, because it's a lungfish. I like that. Lungfish are wild creatures, too. They have all kinds of crazy adaptations. All right, can I get another Wimpod to spawn over here, maybe? No. Yeah, I'm hoping that the spawn system is... What the shit? That's... That's a very different Stunfisk. I'm pretty certain Stunfisk didn't used to have Bear Trap around them. I just want to walk over pick up the item, but all right then. That is... That is... That is something new. Um, let's just hit it with a quick Aqua Jet. Hopefully that doesn't kill it. Super effective, but not too dangerous. How did it use Sucker Punch... Second? Oh, because Aqua Jet's priority overrides Sucker Punch? Oh, that's... Probably not something that's supposed to happen. Galarian, Stun Galarian Sunfisk is the perfect trap for ghost loot senses. <laughs> I mean, it obviously didn't look like the same of every everything else, but you know, doesn't mean I'm still gonna pick it, not gonna pick it up or whatnot. All right, well, that's probably gonna kill Torpedo. Yep. All right, well, let's get Keto in. All right, let's just throw some Pokeballs. I don't know what the priority move is on uh, uh, Aqua Jet. I think it's only priority plus one. Yeah. Do not kill it. Throw another Pokeball. Yeah, extreme speed is like a plus three or something. A 
Luckily, Revenge doesn't do much damage to me because uh, I didn't actually use a move. I do have the uh, Galarian st uh, Farfetch, so I could get a Surfetched. All right. He wants to learn Scary Face. I'm gonna keep my old moves. Scary Face is kind of a crap move. All right, let's see. Living in mud with a high iron content is giving it a strong steel body. It picked up steel type? What? That's wild. That's really kind of cool. All right, what kind of names we got? We got Puffer, Trappy. I gotta like Trappy. Trappy sounds good. And do remember, you guys can throw out name suggestions and stuff while I'm still battling it, if you know I'm going to be, you know, aiming to catch them. So it makes it a little bit easier. Name it Frost. Oh, for, uh, duh, 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 what do you call it? Rainbow Six Siege. That makes sense. All right, well, now everyone knows what time it is, because we have a fainted Pokemon, and I'm too lazy to go back to the Pokemon Center. It's time for Ghost is Bad at Cooking. I'm gonna save the sausages. Oh, do we have to put a sausage in? Oh no, don't add. I'm just shooting for a little bit of HP recovery. Most of it's just to get that, get my Pokemon unfainted by uh, cooking him some chili. Uh, let's do one of you, one of you, and one of you. I don't know if this is a terrible combination or anything, but we'll see. All right, let's see if I'm any better. Smash it. Keep mashing that flame. Stir it. How long do I have to stir it for? And put our heart in. No. Boom. This might be the finest chili I've ever made. Or curry, not chili. Yeah, I know there's a, the, 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 one of the Watt salesmen or whatnot. Spicy curry. Hey, we actually made good chili for once. Still Wobbuffet class. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, maybe my class is being held back by the fact that I'm not adding a bunch of other stuff. That That's entirely possible. But hey, Torpedo is now at half health, which means we can bring him back up to full or near full with potions. Eh, I'll throw another potion on it. They're cheap. Battle time! All right, my plume is bursting with energy. What I mean to say is, please battle me. All right. Although I'm kind of concerned that bursting with energy means electric type. Nope, oh, charcoal. All right. Well, we're gonna have an issue that they're going to get their super speed boost, but we're gonna do dive, and then we're gonna aqua jet after the dive, so. I think we'll be okay at that point. All right, let's activate their steam engine, or just kill them outright. That works, too. Man, having an extra, like, solid water damage move on Torpedo definitely makes them better. Oh, that's literally all you had. It still surprises me that we're, like, five routes in and we still have people with one Pokemon. Dusk Balls! Nice. Dark Caves or at night. Sweet. Sweet. 
All right, what do we got in the water this time? Corfish! All right, let's get some damage in on it. Oh, Flame Body's another option for those Pokemon? Okay. I was wondering, because I'm like, I need a Flame Body Pokemon if I'm going to start hatching, like, Eevee eggs and stuff like that. So I was like, mm, I wonder where I can find one. We're seeing a lot of Mr. Krabs in chat. Is it a male corefish? Oh, it, it's heat proof. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would not work the same as uh, Flame Body. Ruffian Pokemon! No matter how dirty the water in the river, it will adapt and thrive. It has a strong will to survive. And it will open up restaurants that sell Krabby Patties. Also, bravo, everybody in chat, because no one ended up getting timed out by accidentally forgetting the space. Crab. Mr. Craws. Ugh. By forgetting the space. Oh, Crit wanted cookie. You gotta be a little bit faster on the draw, Crit. You're, I keep seeing your uh, suggestions after I've already named it. But we can name this one Frost. Wow, there's gonna be a lot of these in the cave, aren't we? Metal sound. It's gonna be interesting seeing Stunfisk uh, with a metal type. Look at us dodging all the damage and stuff. I think we're in a speed tie again. Oh, there goes revenge. Ow! Get caught so Torpedo can live. Yeah, I keep forgetting I can push the left stick to capitalize letters. It doesn't save that much time. Haha, -ha, your sucker punch does not work on me when I'm trying to catch you. Name this one Frost for Crit. And Boofer leveled up. Hits good level ups. Oh shit! Speaking of torpedoes evolving. Oh! Torpedo evolved into a Barascuta. Damn, that's a cool looking like. That is just a cool design. Barbascuta. Skewer Pokemon. This Pokemon has a jaw that's as sharp as a spear and as strong as steel. Apparently Barbascuta's flesh is surprisingly tasty too. Well, we're not eating him. Alright. Boom. One frost coming up. Oop. Let's take a look at Barascuta's stats after we uh, heal them. Ooh, wow, they actually got quite a bit of uh, extra HP as well. I think I can actually give them one of my fresh waters. Wait. So, oh, I thought fresh water was 50. What am I thinking is 50 then? Soda pops the 50? Then okay, lemonade must be the 80 then. I don't have a lemonade to look at, but. Let's see what they've got stat-wise. Oh boy! Wow, they are all in on attack and speed. Wow. Nice, nice. 
Uh, let me make sure that all of my moves, physical, 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 and swift needs to be replaced once we get a better move. I, I do like the uh, little, like, uh, torpedo mustache swirl thing. It has a nice touch. Now let's see what our damage output is increased to. All right, Torpedo, what do you got? Aha, your revenge does not work, and your Sucker Punch does not either. Yeah, no, that is that is definitely a significant damage increase. Nicely done. Oh, is the uh, bit boss in the wrong spot? I can move that. My apologies, I thought that was out of the way, but it appears it was not. What is... Oop, don't want to be on the bike. Did we even take damage that fight? We didn't even take damage that fight. All right. You have an item behind you. When I'm tired of work, it's time for a battle. I'll show you the muscles I've built up. Are you guys actually doing any mining in here? I mean... I guess, maybe? All right, we got a rock and roller. Ah, oh, torpedo looks so cool. I like the spinny tail fin. It's a nice touch. Um, I think honestly it'll die to an aqua jet because it's a rock and roller. Oh, sturdy. No weak armor. Huh. No, well, your speed rise doesn't matter because I have the ability to go faster than you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did not realize that for the last couple streams that's been blocking stuff. <laughs> also, I haven't seen any wind pods over this area. Um, yeah, if we're gonna get a timber coming out, let's get... I mean, honestly, Torpedo and Barbara are the ones that need the experience, but let's get Hito out. Might as well fight these trainers with all we've got. Down they go. Oh, he even drops his little board. Both a little bit sad and a little bit adorable. Muscles I use for work and for battle are different. <laughs> I'll take extra cash, though. So, welcome to the stream. Loot! Grip Claw. Item held by Pokemon extends the duration of multi-turn attacks to bind or wrap. Nice. Um. Oh, hello. Secret area back there that we could get to, because I didn't even notice this path, because they were trying to be... Oh, no. Apparently the path is to surf and then go back over there some more. Alright, one fish in this fishing hole and we'll see what happens. What do we got? Another barboach. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, Barascuda seems like super amazing, so I'm glad we uh, spent a little bit of extra time by professors fishing, so thank you guys for that tip. Oh, let's see. This is something I ever heard, but two Pokemon of the same species can have different strengths. Yes, this is called IVs. Might as well defeat all these guys. Oh, they are a dive and a... Uh, what do you call it? Dive and a uh, Aqua Jet. It's 
so powerful. Oh no, metal sound. Wow, I even dodged it. That is great. Torpedo is a monster. Press in on the left stick near a Galarin Stunfisk. It tricks them, and you can get a better look at their overworld model. Oh, well, thank you, Shiny Soleo. Also, for the, uh, the bits. I must have missed that while I was, uh, chatting about their name. Ooh, wow, everyone leveled up that level. Ooh, takedown? Yes, please. I think we still have something crappy. Uh... uh 90 power. Yeah, let's get rid of the fence, girl. Actually, Barbara has Steadfast instead of Runaway. I did not realize their ability changed. They really should notify you when abilities change. Let's go take a quick look at uh, everybody's abilities summary. Um, all right, Swift Swim is still there. Keen Eye is still there. So now Zoro has the Runaway. Pokemon Determination boosts the speed stat each time it flinches. Okay. Okay, so no one else has changed their ability. Good to know. Ah, Team Yell. That's awesome that you're getting a Switch for Christmas. Give you something to play over Christmas break. Grunt A. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? You are the nicest grunt. Cranky, but that's really something. I'd love to battle against a great trainer like you. Just... Wow, look at you, ghost. Kind of by adoring fans, eh? You'd be, you'll be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oi, jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Are they trying to reverse psychology, or what are they doing? It's, I, I'm being weirded out by the fact that they're being nice. Yeah, and can't you see I'm Hop, the trainer, who will be the next champion? Oh, so you got a joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. <laughs> I think I'm joking. Prove it, then. I think a battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them on together. You ready? All right. Sure. Why not? Also, welcome to Itamum. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that. Or is it Itamu M? We're new to the stream. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna teach you kids what the gym that the gym challenge is no joke. You better not be yellow. Ugh, 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 even I'm groaning on that one. What this other kid ever come waltzing up for, eh? I just want to knock off challengers one at a time. I mean, it's not like... You... Honestly, Hop coming by is making this fight easier for you. Hey, it's a four Pokemon double battle. Ooh, you actually have some decent Pokemon. Well then, um, Hop, how about you, uh, you do a little bit of tanking for me, huh? I'm just gonna... Bye! <laughs> Night Slash. I dodge the Snarl. Ooh, the Double Kick. Nice. A little weak on the damage there. I think he might actually be at their level. I haven't seen checked his level. Alright, that's one down. Nice, nice. Torpedo levels up mid-battle. Sand attack. Oh, no. Uh, I'm the one doing all the damage. Actually, you know, Hop's actually contributing there. I wonder, does sand attack affect each move independently? Like, would I be able to still hit both of them with dive, or would it only hit one of them with dive? Oh no, dive is only a single target attack, anyway. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Wooloo will have killed the other one by then. 
You're right! Those The Linoon is uh, quad weak, because it's normal dark. Got anything else in your party there? Uh... Oh! Pop's sending out the Corviknight, or Corvusquire. Alright, well, looks like I have to finish him off myself. Get some experience. Now, I really feel like if you're doing a duo battle and you knock out one of one trainer's Pokemon, the other trainer should be able to throw out their extra Pokemon into the empty slot. I feel like that would be fair. So you'll get in this weird 1v2 situation. Oh yeah, the new Linoon's third form Evo, like, super awesome looking. And a Pan Jam. It, oh, because my accuracy is down. Doesn't matter, that pluck should kill it. Okay, Hop, what are you doing to your Pokemon? Because a, a pluck should have totally worked on that. Oh, who do we got sending out? Alright then. Looks like Bolt's coming in to finish things off. Or not Bolt, Boofer. Alright, that was actually a pretty fun, I gotta give him credit, you know, that was a pretty fun little double battle. We yelled us because we up and yell lost. You're, you're really pushing the pun there, it, the, the O sound in lost is not the same as in low. It'd be like, are you guys yell losers? Oh... But I don't even need to use yellow to make the pun about losers, but there you go. If I'd used horn, would I have been better chance of winning? Little Mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're team yell, but we'll, we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Well, that's nice of them. As it goes, that's my rival for ya. Now then, where could that Kabu have gone off to? Keep going, maybe he's further in. Are you here to be a permanent heal buddy, double battle friend? Nope. Oop, there's a Wimpod. Um, shit, it just ran. I was just gonna try to. Oh! He healed us up! Or they never hurt me. Could be either one, honestly. There's the second stage. I mean, I guess we could catch that. It's not often we see second stage Pokemon wild. Dreadnaw. And because it picks up rock typing, it's 1x effective to do dives, so we shouldn't kill it. And if we kill it, it's a bunch of experience. Hey, Lycanroc, thank you for the bits. New badge, get. Ranking up that bit badge. And thank you for reminding me on the co uh, Cocutus. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. But yeah. Is Overlord coming out with another season? Seems like it's been a while since they've been out. Should be due for another one sooner or later. I'm really sad though, like season one of that show was so slow. Like, they could have, if they'd worked on the pacing a little bit, I think it would have caught on a lot more. Alright, looks like we're gonna get, get, try catching it. Uh, it's an evolved form, so let's throw a Dusk Ball at it. Yep, Score Bunny was my starter. My moves were healed? Nice, thank you, Pop. So convenient. I was about to have to go back out of the cave, because I was starting to run out of moves on, uh on Torpedo, but glad that got resolved. Boofer is 30 already! Holy crap, Boofer. Boofer must have a faster leveling curve than a lot of the rest of the team. 
Good news daily add to the Pokedex. Spike Pokemon. With jaw that can shear through steel rods, highly aggressive Pokemon chomps down on its unfortunate prey. Damn. All right, so it's male. So let's see. We've got a berry. We've got Lineback. We've got Chompy. Steelhead. Chomps. Yeah, I could just camp to heal up. Uh, well, I'm not good enough at the curry cooking that I don't get the, I don't get PP back when I camp. Because you need to get a four star cook curry to get the near PP back, I think. Seeing a lot of... Uh, I like Chomster. Let's go Chomster. Has a nice friendly sound to it. Chomster. Let's get off the bike. Hey, star piece. Loot, loot, loot. Small shard of a beautiful gem that gives off distinctly red sparkle can be sold at a high price to shops. I mean, I gotta say, like, this is a lot of really unsecured gemstones for a mine like this. Like, it's also a lot of just, like, revealed gemstone. I'm surprised there's not a, like, mining minigame where you can, like, mine and find all those stuff. Like, what game was it? It was, like, Gen 5 had the tunnel or something you could mine in. Hoping a Wimpod will respawn. Oh, look at little Choodle, like, trying to come after me. It's Scrafty. Nope, nope, Scrafty, nope. Scrafty, bad. Scrafty, no. I wanted a Wimpod, but I'm not seeing one. Gen 4. Okay, I was pretty close. Alright, so you can just fake him. Oh! Damn it. I tried doing the fake out, but it did not work there. Oh well, free experience. What was the button for fake out? It was left stick or something? Oh, I could whistle for them. That's what it was. And then we'll follow that up with an aqua jet and we should be good to go. Stand about five steps back from him. Okay, and then whistle. Good to know. Yep, Torpedo has evolved and is just slaughtering this cave. Now Barbara is just a tiny bit behind, but we can deal with that. Bag of soft sand. All right, we have something for our ground types. I see it. I just have to let it not see me. Nope, nope, get your... Damn it. How are you... Oh, um, that's not it. It's... Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I thought there was a way to crouch down in this game. Huh. Maybe if I run back this way, it'll respawn. Ooh, golden fishing spot! What's it gonna be? Alright, we got a gold tier barboach. Tilt very, very slightly to crouch. Oh, okay, because that's intuitive. All right, um, give it a bite. See if we can't flinch it a few times. Woof, okay, maybe not a few times, maybe just once. All right, it looks like amnesia might be its uh, egg move that it's got. Um, and I believe we had a lure ball just for this kind of si situation. Yep, good for catching Pokemon. You reel in with a rod while out fishing. Hey, Tiger Master XXX, thank you for the bits. I'm trying to get a Wimpod, run into it with your bike. Oh, so we do need the bike. I thought the bike was scaring them off. Brilliant or a Barboach. All right. Let's get a good nickname for this. We got a male Barboach. We got Bach. We got Gary.
Oof. When the egg move is double edge and it kills itself. Wow. 100 bits from a single ad. That is insanely good luck. That's like a 1% chance, I want to say. I don't know if they have the numbers pitched. Fisho Marsh. Um, I kind of like Bach. Bach sounds like a fun one. A little bit of a musical catfish. All right. Well, that was unexpected. I was not expecting to bump into a... Uh, oops, uh, nope. Oh, you know, we haven't actually saved in a little while, so why don't we... Stop picking menu options that I don't want. Save. Save. Let's go to the box and make sure we mark that, because I don't think there marks golden or our brilliant aura Pokemon by itself. All right, and change markings, give them a star, boom. Ability is Anticipation. It got Water Pulse, Amnesia, Aqua Tail, Thrash. That's pretty decent. Uh, it's a boosted attack, which I don't think is good for it, but we can always change those apparently in this game, so yeah. In your menu, you can reorganize the menu with the Y button. What? Oh my god, we can move things around. Alright, well, um... Honestly, I kind of feel like everything is where it should be. I was just clicking too many times, so... Thrash might have been the egg move? Alright, good to know. That was cool. You don't see the uh, yellow fishing spots all that often, so when you do, definitely cast in. I heard you wiggle. Damn it! Shit. Ah, I did. No, I don't want to fish. Don't want to fish. Yeah. It's back here. Oh, damn it. I ran into the turtle. Uh. Alright. Well, I really wish I hadn't killed that first Wimpod. I did not realize how much of a pain they were to run back into. Damn it. Oh, hey, a shuckle. Go slow. Oh, all right. I also need to heal Torpedo a little bit. There we go. Oh, freaking berry juice, I forgot. Now, good thing Shuckle has abysmal attack stats. They don't run if you crouch up to them from behind. Okay. Yeah, see, they don't really explain some of these finer points of stuff, so... Crouching is only in patches of glass. Okay, I was wondering, because I'm like, I haven't seen myself crouching. Barber leveled up. Alright, Shuckle! Stores berries inside its shell to avoid attacks. It hides beneath rocks and remains completely still. Let's see, Tortugasaurus, we've got Turbo. Mr. Period Chuckle. <laughs> Luigi. We got Buckle. Yeah, the standard, yeah. Let's see, um... Let's do, 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 do... I'm having trouble. Ah, uh, we're gonna go buckle. I kind of punted there. That's good enough for me, though. 
Yeah, they do They do have banned words in uh, regular Pokemon, so you can't name certain things certain things, so yeah. Also, let us get some heals going, because uh, we're a few HP short. The torpedo is helping us really, really well throughout this cave, so that's nice. Whoop, golden, or, uh, brilliant aura Shellos. Can't turn down a golden aura. One more bite should be perfect. Yeah, that noise of the Wimpod running away, like... I I'm very bad at... Very gently moving a control stick. Woo! Wow. That is a one HP catch. All right. Scorch grew to 30. Let's learn Headbutt. Um, what do we got, Scorch? Um, let's get rid of Swift, because you're a physical attacker. So, there we go. Oh, awesome. since Scorch has learned a new move. Alright, we got Tup. We got Dondesta, we got Dodo, we got Dido, we got Frostu, we got Tank. Um. Hmm. Let's go Tank. Wait, 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 wait. Even better, because it's a water type, Fish Tank. Boom. Alright, let's go in and make sure we mark them down. Recover Water Pulse Ancient Power Mist with Storm Drain, which I believe is their best ability. I don't think the stats they're bred on their ability is, or their uh, nature is good, but... I could be wrong, it is also only the first form, so. Those are all egg those are some egg moves? Nice, nice. I figure that thing is gonna be a real good tank, so. See that thing that thing just ran away without even me doing anything, so. Oh, we got another brilliant aura Pokemon. Can't say no to hidden or to brilliant auras. Uh, let's try Aqua Jets. The more of them you catch, the more common they are. Well, good thing I'm not passing any of them up if I can help it. Aha, your fake out does not work because you didn't use it on the first turn. You should have faked out then protected. Ooh, you are uh, a little bit dangerous there. Let's throw a Dusk Ball on you, because you're a really good Pokemon. We got Tyke, we got Monster Kid. What else we got? Let's get some name options. You can go slower. I can't go slower on my, like, my hands. <laughs> like, uh, I, I'm tipping it as very gently as I can right now, so... Shaggy. <laughs> Let's see, is it male or female? It's male. I, I like Shaggy. Shaggy's a good name for it. You know, he it, it is super powered. It's a brilliant aura, so, you know, Shaggy's, you know, vast amount of power is a pretty accurate representation of how strong that one is. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna catch a Wimpod later, because screw trying to catch the Wimpods. They are annoying. Let's see, it's got Moxie. It's got a nature that 
mixes the defenses up, and yeah. His moves are kind of crap, but that can all be changed eventually. Alright, mister... You look like a guy who takes your ticket at the movie theater. Steam power can send any opponent flying. What is your job? Rail staff. Okay, I can see that. It's like a company vest kind of thing. It's a drill burr! It's a dead! Yeah, I saw the tip for saving the game using R to go over to the right-hand side. That will actually save me a little bit of trouble. Oh, it's honing its claws. That's not good. But it's dead anyway. Oh! That's cool to know. I'm gonna give that a try right after this fight. An Onyx? Uh, I'll keep my current Pokemon. An Onyx should die to an Aqua Jet because of quad weakness. And the fact that I'm five levels higher than it. Yep. Incredible power. I guess I was the one sent flying. I mean, you're just fighting a really, really powerful fish. All right, so we go menu, hit R. Yeah, right to saving. That is super sweet. That is a nice combination. So you just hit R. All right, this is... Sand Tomb. Uh, four to five turns trapped inside a sandstorm. All right. You know... It's been a while since we've run into one of these guys, so I actually did think I was going to pick up an item when I ran over top of it. So, you know, bravo devs, you, you've, made a, you've made a very good trap for me. Your revenge does nothing! Oh wow, that nearly killed it. Well, that metal sound really does not matter to me, because Aqua Jet means I'm out first. Oh, I did hate the old Fungus and Amoongus. Because unlike Voltorbs and stuff, they were a lot tankier. So they did their job better as a decoy. All right, it's an odd little side path. There's a secret item here? Nope. Okay, let's try this out. Ah, I've distracted you. Oh, well, they go right back in. All right, then. That's kind of cool. Hey, what you got going on here, Hop? Oh, hey, look at all the wind pots over here. You're helping out with my training team, yell, yeah? but I must say it's unforgivable you to get in the way of a char a charcoal hard at work. We we're getting in the way, we we're trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scrap her and give a morale boost elsewhere. <laughs> Scarper? I think it's Scarper. Um cheering is one thing, but you but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. That Ka that's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire-type gym leader. Ah, come to get a first look at the uh, torpedo that is going to be sinking your ship. Scarper. Scarper. Okay. Ah, you're the trainer's endorsed by Leon. Hop and Ghost, am I right? Just training right up until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you, Gym Challengers. Specialized in Fire type Pokemon and the Water type Pokemon and Galar Mine number two are perfect opponents to train against. Huh, regardless, it's getting late. I'll go straight once you get out of this mine, you'll reach Motostoke. Get a good rest in the hotel and I'll make sure you're both up in top condition. Alright. 
Come on, Carcole, time for you to head home home too. Make sure you get there safely. Gonna be on fire tomorrow. All right then. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Boy, when they walk through a whole bunch of areas that have just tons and tons of water type Pokemon. Like, I've seen Magikarp already. Like, they could have a Gyarados by now. It'd even be a pretty solid Gyarados by now. Alright, go rest in the boot, Badoo drop in for the night. That car cool from before. Guess it must have been here on a job. You know what about Poke jobs by now, right? Poke what? I already know about him, but explain it anyway, Hop. Looks like there's no helping in that case. Settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. So I remember what Lee had written down in his old notebooks. You can have your Pokemon go out and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. Take Poke jobs from the Rotomi at the Pokemon Center, so give it a look. Alright, now I'm cream crackered. I'm for the Badoo Dop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, the fire gym leader. Better be ready, because I'll be coming for him. Alright. Catch you later. I'm gonna go back in here. Oh, there was a knocked owl. I feel like there was loot. This is as slow as I can walk right here. God. Damn, Wimpod. <laughs> I guess I didn't miss anything. Oh, it's a Brilliant Aura Barboach. Or Barnacle. Binnacle. As I slowly death spiral into it. This shouldn't kill it. Good. I can probably take one more. You can rise as high as you want. Doesn't stop Aqua Jet from hitting you. I've done a couple of the raids. Um, after the gym battle, I'm actually going to go focus down on a little bit more exploration of the uh, open field area. Let's get some better Pokeballs and catch it. Man, that's uh, three or four uh, brilliant auras we've caught in the cave today, so that's a good deal. Alright, we need another name for a binnacle. What do we got? Come on, what ride he is. Um, I won't be doing any trade evolving or trading or anything like that until post game, but I'm sure there's other fans in the stream chat that are having the, that have the game that'd be more than happy happy to help you trade evolve. Manicure, handy, handsy, ooh, handsy. Yep. It's a high-powered one. Hansy sounds really good. Good old D&D &D references. God. Well... Alright, I will catch a Wimpod another day. It'll stay on my recommended list, so... Oh my god, I have a bike bell. That's so cool. Also, hello, pseudo Wudo. Also, welcome back to stream, Orange. Or I guess to today's stream is the first time. Yeah, my problem is, like, as soon as they spawn, they run away from me. Like, I don't even get the opportunity to, like, go more slowly on them. Yeah, that was the plan. I'm gonna be doing only- the only raiding and, uh, trading and stuff I'm gonna do before the post-game is just gonna be with my girlfriend when she's here on the weekends.
All right, we got a pseudo widow. After this, I need to check to see how many Pokemon we have in our Pokedex. See how close we're getting to that shiny charm. Probably not even remotely close, because we have definitely not caught 400 Pokemon, but... Tree branch shakes in the, with, when there is no wind. It's a pseudo widow, not a tree. It hides from the rain. Hey, the real master Clive has subscribed. Eight months. Love your stuff, goes. Keep up the great work. I'm glad you enjoy it, and I will be certain to keep it up. Name it Woody, Twigs, what else we got? I think I'll go with Twigs. Oh, I have to go remember to uh, mark the other one as well. All right, so first off, damn it. I always keep using the bike instead of going into the menu because I think plus would be a much better button for the, just the menu access. I have caught 68 Pokemon. I've seen 106. Not too bad. Actually, I could have restored from this menu. I keep forgetting that I can do that. Um, one water bottle would be perfect. <gasps> no! Aha! Hatena! They were telling me to catch one of these guys, like five or six routes ago, so we finally ran into one. Bite would kill it. Let's see what an Aqua Jet does. Oof. Sorry, voice. Um, I think we'd be able to catch it with a Pokeball now. Oh, so I need to catch a male and female of these? They're a gender-based evolution? I thought they were a game-based one. It's and psychic or looks like a witch or a wizard. Okay. Via the protrusions on its head, it senses other creatures' emotions. If you don't have a calm disposition, it'll never warm up to you. Kind of like, uh, Maria. That sounds fun. Boom. Maria. Oh, look at them being sneaky and hiding loot behind the sign. Amulet coin! Well, we already have a luck in sense, so it's kind of redundant, but, you know, appreciated nonetheless. Kind of new Pokemon will we find out here? Nice. We can use two bites and we'll be fine. Oh, coughing reminds me of ghost cooking. Har, har, har. It was only our first curry dish that we were that bad. Congratulations on beating the 8th eighth eighth Gym Zero wins. Yay, Boofer leveled up. Poison Gas Pokemon. Its body is full of poisonous gas. It floats into garbage dumps, seeking out the fumes of raw, rotting trash.
Name it Mustard Gas. Doug Dimidome. Well, no, because this is the uh, this is a coughing. Unless is Galar in form only on the wheezing, or is it on the coughing as well? So I'm gonna name it Mustard because you know Mustard Gas. I think feels like a. Uh, Good nickname. If it was male, I would definitely do the Doug Dimidome. Okay, Weezing's the only one with the Galarum form. Alright, good to know. Well, it saves me. Oh, there's a sock behind me. I guess it saves me from raising up one of the hoot hoots. So I'm going to do a little bit more damage. It is nice how Torpedo's tail just kind of sits there and rotates. Getting the Pokeball. Hmm, that's annoying. Well, Barbara can tank. Oh, it, this game is super fun. I guess I probably should actually use a Great Ball because it's a higher level Pokemon. I was trying to be cheap and stingy. One more. No! No, 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 no! Cancel, cancel! Oh, we killed it. Welp. My bad. Let's get the sock, because I feel like this is going to be a more rare spawn, and then we'll go cook up some chili, get our revive off, and then uh, come back and catch a knocked out. There's plenty of them, so. So how's the game's day-night cycle work? Does it match the outside world? Does it run on its own timer? Because I haven't really noticed any consistency. I have revives, but you get a free revive if you go and cook, so why not go and cook? Only the wild area gets time. All right, makes sense. Like if it's night, it'll be night in the wild area. All right. Oop, oop, hold on, hold on. There we go. Might as well be using the dusk balls if we've got them. Wow, he did not want to stay in. Say the ball.
Come on, you are on yellow health, you're paralyzed, you're pretty much almost on red health. Come on, get caught. Much better. Seeing Jackie Chan, I'm seeing Bruce Lee, we got Chuck, we got John Cena, Chuck Norris. So you saw training in the mountains, it's single-minded pursuit of strength, and it's best to quietly pass by. Let's go, Jackie. I like Jackie. Boom. Alright, it's everybody's favorite time again. I don't remember what we called the show. How bad is... or Ghost bad at cooking. I think it was, yeah. Something like that. Ow, 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 ow. Start cooking. Um... Why don't we throw some sausages in? I want to make some good chili this time. So let's make some spicy sausage chili. Ow. Ow. Alright. Uh, I think there was another one that was spicy... Not spicy, slight bitterness. Goes well with greasy ingredients. Mmm. Greasy like sausages. All right. Here we go. Oh, wow, you really can't overcook this first bit. All right. I'd always stop when I started seeing the sparks going, but it, it just wants it as hot as possible. And here, as long as it's not sloshing, you're good to go. Boom! Come on, three-star chili. This has got to be three-star chili. I have not found a lot of the berry trees, but I figure when we go out to the uh, area later, we'll see some more of it. Could it be our first three-star chili dish? You seem excited. Hey! Actually, no, it's our second three-star chili dish, but boom! We got HP restored and status conditions are healed. Nice. Counter to Wild Knockdown. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, Boofer is actually pretty perfect for this. Hopefully we don't straight kill it, but I think one Nuzzle should be survivable. Yes! Excellent, excellent. Now we get the Paralyzed buff. To get four star, you need to maximize your ingredient numbers. Alright, that makes sense. Oh, Wedgehurst sells berries? Okay, good to know. Oh, yeah, they do sell the berries. I don't know if they're super cheap, but we'll see. All right, Knocked Owl. Its eyes are specially developed to enable it to see clearly in murky darkness and minimal lights. Let's see... 
We got Gilfie, John Lennon. I like Gilfie. Gilfie sounds like a fun name. G-I-L-F-I-E. Done. There's another hat Pokemon. Oh. The last one we caught was female, so we'll only catch this one if it's male. Because apparently it evolves differently. It's female. Yomp. Now, apparently the sock aren't terribly uncommon. Alright, well, I'm going to take a quick pause break right here, so we'll be right back.